In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify Tor browser and install it on an Apple OS X computer. If you have a Windows computer, then please revise the previous lecture. And if you have a Linux computer, then skip this video and watch the next video. Only watch this lecture if you want to install Tor browser on an Apple OS X computer. Otherwise, just skip it. You will not lose any information if you skip this video. So right now I have the Tor download page right here. And as you can see, I can download Tor for any operating system, Windows, Apple, and Linux. And right now we want to install Tor browser on an OS X computer. So I'm going to download the English version from the Apple OS X column. One click here will download it for you. But I already have it downloaded here, so I'm not going to click that. And right now, I can literally just double click it to install it. But before doing that, it's a very good idea to verify that the file we downloaded here did not get modified as it was being downloaded. Because when you download something from the internet, it passes through a number of nodes in which it can be modified. So it can be modified by your internet service provider, it can be modified by your network administrator, and it can even be modified by hackers who manage to intercept the connection. So in order to verify that this file did not get modified, we're going to use a signature provided to us by the Tor developers. So as you can see on this page, each download has a SIG. This SIG stands for signature, and this is a file that is unique to this download to the installer. It was generated by the developers when they packaged the installer, and it can be used to verify that the installer did not get modified since it was packaged by the developers. So to verify the installer, the first step is to download its signature. So like I said, as you can see, each file has its own signature. I downloaded this file right here. So I'm going to download this signature in here. I'm going to right click the signature file and I'm going to click on save link as to download it. And I'm going to store it in Tor in the same directory that I have here. I'm going to click on save. And as you can see, I have the signature file right here. Now, all we need to do is verify the signature and make sure that this signature corresponds to this, to this installer. And if it does, then that means this installer was not modified since this signature was made, which means that the installer was not modified since the publisher of Tor has published the file. Now, we'll need to use a special program to do this verification. On OS X, we can download this for free. It's called GPG Suit. So we can click on download here to download it. And I already have it downloaded right here. And to install this, all you have to do is literally just double click it, just like any other application. We're going to double click the installer here. We're going to continue. Keep the language at English. We're going to agree. We're going to click on install to install it. I'm going to put my password. And that's it. It's installed. So I'm going to click on close and I'm going to move this to trash. This will just move the installer to trash. And I did this because I don't really need it anymore because I've installed the program. So I'm going to close this. I won't need to use any of this. This is just the program. It got opened automatically. And we're going to use the program that we just installed from the command prompt to verify the signature and see if this installer was modified or not as we downloaded it. To do this, first we need to add the key the Tor developers use to sign their installers. We can get the key from their web page right here. And I'm going to include this in the resources of this lecture as well. And as you can see, if we just scroll to the top a little bit right here to the Mac OS X, 
you can see that they're giving us the key. So this is basically their key. And the command that we need to use in order to add the key is this command right here. So GPG is the name of the program that we just installed that I said we need to use in order to verify the signature. We're giving it a key server. So this is a server where we are going to pull the key from. And then we're using the receive key argument to specify the key that we want to get. So I'm going to copy all of this. And I'm going to paste it here. And give this a few seconds. It might actually take some time and it might even fail. So just try it a few times because when you try it, the servers might be under a lot of pressure and they just will time out and they won't allow you to get the key. But as you can see, in my case, I got it from the first try in a relatively short time. So now the key is added. And before we actually verify the file, I want to make sure that I got the correct key. And to do that, again, I'm going to use the same command, the same program that we just installed. And I'm going to say I want to see the fingerprint of the key that we just got. So this is the key that we just got. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. And I actually didn't copy the full key. This is the full key. So again, I'm just going to copy it and run the same command. And perfect. I got the fingerprint. So the fingerprint is right here. And you want to check this against the fingerprint that you have on their website. So this is the fingerprint that they have. And as you can see, the two fingerprints match, which means that we have the correct key added. And now we can go ahead and try to verify the installer that we just downloaded, which is this installer. So before we do this, we need to navigate to the location where this is. And as you can see, it's in downloads, TOR. So right now, if I do PWD to get my current working directory, you can see I am in users zoos. And what I want to go is users zoos downloads TOR. So I'm going to do CD to change my working directory. And I want to go to downloads forward slash TOR. So in your case, if you just downloaded the files in your downloads, you wouldn't need to go into the TOR directory. In my case, because I have them in the TOR, I'm going to put TOR. I'm going to hit enter. And if I do PWD to get my current working directory, you can see I'm in users, zoos, downloads, TOR. And if I do LS to list all the files that I have in the current working directory, you'll see that I have two files. The first one is the installer, the Tor browser installer. And the second one is the signature that we can use to verify this installer. Now to verify the installer, all we have to do is again, use the same command PGP. We're going to say that I want to verify and give it the name of the signature file, this file right here. And we have it right here. So you can just copy and paste it and we're going to hit enter. And I typed PGP and it actually should be GPG. So another spelling mistake that I made here. So I'll fix that. I'm going to hit enter. And perfect. As you can see, it's telling us that this is a good signature from the Tor browser developers. So what we did right now is we use the signature to validate that this file right here did not get modified since the signature was created. Like I said, this is not a necessary step, but if you want to make sure that you're using a clean version of the Tor browser, then this is the best way to do it. So now that we are happy with the installer and know that it did not get modified, we can just double click it to install it, just like you install any other application on your system. So as you can see, we have the Tor browser right here. 
you just have to drag and drop it to the applications in here and once it's copied it'll go into your applications where you can launch it from here so if i just click on it in here i'm gonna trust it so i'm gonna say open and this will first connect to the tor network and launch a normal web browser for me but like i said anything you do on this web browser will go through the tor network and we'll talk more about how to use this browser how to configure it and all of that in the next lectures but right now we managed to install a clean and unmodified version of the tor browser 